All right, we are back. Today we are diving into some of the comments on our latest videos. We're gonna go through the Gymshark seamless ligging video as well as the ABC pant. So starting off with the ABC pant, Petty writes, thank you. A lot of content creators talk about quality, but you are the only one that actually takes their time to break down and explain if something's actually quality. So I think this is something that happens a lot in the fashion industry is that it's such a competitive industry that so many people are so, I would say, secretive with their knowledge. They, and I, I found this across multiple suppliers, multiple brands. Everyone just wants to kind of keep their secrets to themselves. And they think that by kind of like gatekeeping this knowledge that that's going to kind of guarantee their success or safety. But I, I take a very different approach to I think business in general, I think a lot of information should be open sourced. And at the end of the day, if your competitors know how to make quality products as well, that's just gonna push you forward to make better products. So that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to educate consumers, educate brands at the end of the day to, to make better products. And uh, you know, thank you for joining us on this journey. Mike writes, I have 10 pairs of those ABC pants. They're very comfortable and don't fade. Mike, you must be 6'5", blue eyes, and you must work in finance. Durable. I hope you eventually do a summary vid, like best bang for your buck type content. Yes, we are absolutely gonna be doing something like that. Uh, I plan on doing kind of like low, medium, high price point and really comparing and breaking it down. We're just waiting for the development center to be finished to film that content there. Polly writes, firstly, love the videos, huge help. Not sure if it's mentioned in another comment. There are too many to go through, but is there a comparable product at a lower price point that you've also reviewed? Would love uh, if you're looking for an alternative, consider XYZ at the end of the videos, maybe. So I think the only other pant that would be at least comparable style-wise would be the Cuts AO Jogger, but that was like really horribly reviewed. Um, I'll get the guys to throw the card up here for, for that. Um, I think what we're trying to do on the show ultimately is I want to dissect the clothing and review the clothing here with, with you guys, our, our audience, so that when you hear something that is that I'm saying, I, I want you to understand the facts behind it rather than just purely my opinion. And I want you guys to also be educated to know how I came to that conclusion. So if there's other brands that you guys know and you can suggest, definitely put in the comments. and media team will go through it and they'll buy the clothes for review and then we'll find out together. Uh, Scott wrote, enjoyed the video. Love to see some content Vuori and 32 degrees. So depending on when this video goes out, we have a pair of Vuori ligging pants that are coming out. But if there's some men's items that you want me to review, put it in the comments and let us know which ones. It's nice to see Shift Fashion Group liking a product. Overall, fantastic video. Thank you. So the media team chooses what products we review based off of your suggestions. We buy everything that we review. And if something's great, I'll tell it. If something's bad, I'll tell it. I really don't care what brands are, are putting out and I have no vested interest in the outcome. I'm purely just gonna tell you guys what I see in front of me. And at the end of the day, this product was really well made. And you can really see that they took the time to iterate on, on this product and the development cycle on this product was probably quite long to get all those little nuanced small things into the pant ultimately and to build a supply chain to have such a product that you know pretty much devoid of flaws that takes a really good team at Lululemon to be able to execute on that. Max writes, I would recommend you guys trying Architerix, probably one of their shell jackets because they are the most popular maybe the beta alpha models. So we actually have a lot of ideas in terms of the jackets that we want to do. I don't know if reviewing jackets on, on industry secrets is the right series for that. We're going to be doing a lot more technical testing and we have a new series coming out, really diving into more about the technology behind specific garments. And I think Architerix you know, Patagonia and Canna Goose is much better suited than for that segment because we can dive in much more deep into ultimately the fabric because that's a big part of what makes those garments great. Didi writes, 
that technology is just a piece of fabric turned sideways. <laughs> Ultimately, really, that is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, I think a large part of fashion and clothing sales is trying to differentiate yourself from the rest of the pack. Uh, and, and a lot of brands turn to very big marketing claims and it ultimately is, is a gusset a technology. I, I guess you could consider it a technology. It is advancing uh, a technique uh, in, in garment construction. Uh, but I think the way that they phrase it and because it's not very descriptive, it just really says ABC technology, it really does trick a lot of consumers into thinking that something's magical about this pan, but it really is just that gusset. Joe is so diplomatic with his stuff. <laughs> Russell writes, what shirt are you wearing in the video? And what brand do you generally wear? So in this particular video, I'm actually wearing a prototype slash sample for a client. Whenever we're developing stuff uh, and, and testing fabric, you know, we can do all of our traditional testing. We, we test for weight, we, we check the knit structure, we test for shrinkage, um, color fastness, color accuracy, a bunch of like very, a bunch of data points basically for the fabrics. But another part of it is just wear testing it. And a lot of times I'm wear testing it, see how I fit, feel, how do the seams feel. Ultimately, is this a shirt that is comfortable? And is this a shirt that if I had 15, 20 other shirts in my closet. Is this the one I'd be reaching for? So for this particular one, again, I'm wearing a prototype we're developing. But in terms of brands that I generally wear, to be, <laughs> being in fashion, especially on the manufacturing side, it's very hard to buy clothing because we know exactly what it costs to make. So you kind of know what a brand is making in their margins. Sometimes when I'm buying clothing, I have to kind of like silo my mind and completely ignore the price. To, to actually make the purchase. Uh, but when it comes to brands that I'm generally wearing, I'm buying a bunch of different brands. I'm always testing something out. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. White Tiger writes, Joe, can you review some cotton-based leggings? Keep hearing wearing polyester during workouts and perspiration isn't good for your health. So I've definitely seen this claim a lot, especially on TikTok and social media. Right now, when you actually look at the entire scientific research as a whole, when it comes to wearing polyester, there isn't conclusive evidence that wearing polyester is actually gonna be bad for you and, and your health. That may change, but when it comes to my decision-making and my thought processes, I'm gonna be only evaluating things based off of things that I basically have learned, I've tested, you know, I can read medical journals or research papers on it that actually confirm this data. I would be very hesitant to just listen and believe everything you read on social media. That being said, this might be something that may change over time. And at that time, I will change my opinion on it. And that's the great thing about learning and scientific progress is that we, we have data, we, we learn through the process. And as things change, we can change our thought processes and we change how we accept or don't accept things going forward. When it comes to cotton-based leggings, I think you're gonna find a lot of difficulty with cotton-based leggings that they don't retain their, their stretch as well. So most of the time, cotton-based leggings over time will get very loose, they'll get very kind of slinky, and when it comes to working out in them, they absorb moisture and they don't wick moisture. So you're gonna get a lot of sweat marks, um, especially around you know, the glutes and, and uh, high perspiration areas. So I've made cotton leggings in the past and they haven't been the best products just because it's not best suited for that particular purpose. If you guys want to see more behind the scenes secrets on the fashion industry and learn more about how to create products and brands, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and check out these videos.